610 says, as part of a study of the development of the thymus gland, researchers weighed the glands of five chick embryos after 14 days of incubation. The thymus weights in milligrams were as follows, 29.6, 21.5, 28.0, 34.6, 44.9. It lists them off and it says, um, and those individual values don't actually matter to us because all we're really concerned about is the mean and standard deviation of that sample. So the mean of the sample, so notice I'm writing y bar instead of mu, because mu is the population mean, and y bar is the sample mean, that is 31.7. And the standard deviation of the sample, um, which is given by s, that's 8.7 milligrams. All right, so A asks, calculate the standard error, standard error of the mean. Okay, now one, one more number we need is how many we have in our sample, and here we have five. Okay, so the standard error of the mean is just going to be our standard deviation divided by uh, the square root of n. So our standard error is going to be 8.7 divided by the square root of 5, and that's going to give us about 3.9 milligrams. That's the standard error. Uh, again, tells us how uncertain we are about the uh, um, uh, how uncertain we are uh, regarding our sample mean as an estimate of the population mean. Part B says construct a 90% confidence interval. The 90% confidence interval means that in our t distribution, so remember uh, when we use the con uh, creating confidence intervals, um, we, we use the t distribution. That's because um, we don't know the quantity sigma. Sigma um, is the um, standard deviation of the population, and we don't know that exact quantity, so we're using s as an estimate of that population. Um, estimate of that quantity. However, in order to account for the, um, the difference, uh, because it's a, it is an estimate, uh, we use the t-distribution. And so a 90% confidence interval means we want 90% in the center, and that means in each tail we've got 5%. Okay. With n equal to 5, our degrees of freedom is equal to n minus 1, or in this case, 5 minus 1, or 4. So we have to look up, our, our, uh, our t value is we're looking up t with 5% in the tails and uh, degrees of freedom equal to 4. And if you go into the back of the book to table 4, I don't know if you guys can see this in the camera, I'm going to look up 5% and 4 degrees of freedom, and I get 2.132. So that quantity is 2.132. Okay? And the formula for our confidence interval is y bar plus or minus our t value multiplied by our standard error. Okay, so in this case, our y bar, our sample mean is 31.7. Our t, which we found, is 2.132. And our standard error, uh, which we found in the previous uh, part of the problem, is 3.9. Okay. And when you calculate this out, uh, you end up getting, uh, let's see, 31.7 um, plus or minus, I think you get 8.3, okay, something about 8.3. And so if you do 31.7 minus 8.3, you get 23.4. And if you get 31.7 plus 
you get 40.0. So our confidence interval, our 90% confidence interval, goes from 23.4 to 40.0. I'm going to go ahead and do um, um, 611, and that says construct a 95% confidence interval for the population mean. Okay, so in this case, uh, we have to find a different t-value. So our t-value this time, we're looking for 95% in the middle, which means in each tail we have 0.025. And so we're going to look up t uh, with 0 0.025 in the tail and degrees of freedom still equal to n minus 1 or 4. Okay, and in this case, when we look it up uh, in the back of the book, we look up 4 degrees of freedom and 0 0.025. And here we get 2.776. 2.776. So that quantity is 2.776. And once again, our um, confidence interval is y bar plus or minus t times the standard error. And in this case, we have a different uh, t value. But all the other numbers are the same. 31.7 plus or minus 2.776 times 3.9. Okay, Standard error is 8.7 divided by the square root of 5. And when you get that, you get uh, 31.7 uh, plus or minus, this time I believe, um, 10.5, something about there. 10 point, oh wait, no. 10.8, 10 point, 10.8, okay, 10.8. And so 31.7 minus 10.8. Uh, gives us 20.9 and 31.7 plus 10.8 gives us 42.5. So in this case we have a 95% interval that goes from 20.9 to 42.5. And it says interpret the confidence interval that you found here. Okay, And so the phrase we want to use is we are 95% confident that the mean thymus gland, okay, thymus gland size or gland weight in the population. is between 20.9 gram, uh, milligrams and 42.5 milligrams. Okay, so remember, confidence interval is always about the mean of the population, okay? Uh, or in other cases, maybe the proportion in the population but we're always making estimates about the population, some quantity of the population. So remember, our population um, is defined by some, uh, some mean value, mu, and we're just drawing out random samples, okay? So we take out a sample, and in this case, we had a sample of size five, and that sample had to ha happen to have a sample mean of 31.7 and a standard deviation of 8.7. And based on this sample and this st standard deviation of the sample, we're making a conclusion about the population mean. Okay, so we have to say we're 95% confident that the mean in the population is between uh, these two numbers in our confidence interval.